If you're a Nintendo Switch owner like myself, then you're probably sitting around wondering sometimes, when are more games coming out? Well, here is a list of five games coming out this month on the Nintendo Switch. Let's check them out. Welcome back to all my subscribers, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that button. <clears throat> All right, now let's get into these games. There are three games coming out this month on the 15th, and first up we have Soldom, Drop, Connect, Erase. This is a block puzzle game, much like Dr. Mario or Tetris. In this game, you drop Soldom fruits to try and match colors in order to make an entire row to try and erase a layer. One unique feature to this game is the ability to change the already dropped fruits colors by using a flanking method, making it easier to create a row and erase another layer. Saldom seems to be a pretty basic puzzle game with a cute anime style, so if you're into games like Puyo Puyo Tetris, make sure to check this title out too. The next game to come out on the 15th, and the one that I personally am most excited for, is Sonic Mania. I have been super excited about this game since the day they announced it. I have the collector's edition pre-ordered, and I can't wait for it to arrive. So expect an unboxing and a gameplay video on that one for sure. Sonic Mania is a 2D side-scroller that promises to stay true to the original Sonic games like on the Sega Genesis, but adding new bosses and twists to the classic zones. You get to play as Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and there are multiple different game modes like single player, time attack, co-op, and competition mode. I was checking out some footage for this game online, and the gameplay looks really, really good, and the music and sound effects are amazing so far. So if you're a Sonic fan, make sure you definitely pick up this title when it comes out on the 15th. And the third game to come out on the 15th is Troll and I. This is a third-person action-adventure game, much like Majin in the Forsaken Kingdom by Bandai Namco. During the campaign of this game, you will get to swap between the two main characters seamlessly in order to tackle different challenges and battle it out with the orcs and human hunters you encounter. Otto is your main character who will be handling most of the main tasks, but you will have to switch over to the character Troll in order to take care of some tasks that Otto might not be able to handle given his size. The game does feature some survival elements as well, like the ability to craft your own weapons and having to hunt for food in order to replenish your health. Troll and I also has couch co-op split-screen multiplayer, so if you want to tackle this entire game with a friend, you have the ability to do so. So if you're looking for an action adventure game for your Nintendo Switch that you might want to play with a friend or maybe at home by yourself, maybe check out Troll and I. And again, all three of those games that I just mentioned all come out on August 15th. And on August 22nd, you get Telltale's Minecraft Story Mode. Now, the Nintendo Switch version of Minecraft Story Mode is really just a complete edition with every episode included, so there's really not much to talk about with that one since they didn't really add any new features or any kind of add-ons that are specific for the Nintendo Switch. But if your introduction to Minecraft was on the Nintendo Switch and you never got a chance to play Telltale's Minecraft Story Mode, Make sure to check it out. And last but not least, the final game we have on this list is Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which drops on August 29th. This was definitely one of the more popular titles announced by Nintendo this year for the Nintendo Switch and is in collaboration with Ubisoft. In the game, you get to play as a variety of different characters like Mario, Luigi, Peach, or Yoshi, or their rabbit counterparts, each with their own set of skills and abilities. There will be four different main areas to explore, each with their own mid-boss and main boss to defeat. And the gameplay style of this game is a turn-based strategy, so if you have ever played anything like XCOM or maybe a Fire Emblem, then you know what to expect. And if you haven't played a turn-based strategy game, I highly suggest looking up some gameplay or maybe doing some research before you jump into this title because it is not like any traditional Mario game or Rabbids game for that matter. But with that being said, it does look like a great introduction to someone who has never played a turn-based strategy game to get introduced to that style of gameplay. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle will have amiibo functionality, so you will be able to use your amiibos to unlock different features in-game. The game looks like it's going to be a ton of fun, and the graphics and environments look awesome as well, so make sure to keep an eye on this title too. And that concludes our list of five Nintendo Switch games coming out this month in August, so make sure you check them out. If you like this video, make sure to give it a share, maybe drop a like and a comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that too. And to everyone who has already subscribed, thank you so much, you guys are the greatest, and I will see you guys in the next video.